Good morning, beautiful people. I am doing a thigh-inspired fish dish today after all the chicken that we've been eating this week. So it's a grilled fish dish that I'm going to do with Thai flavors. Um, the fish that I'm using is hake fillets from Woolworths. And these are fresh hake fillets. What I've done is I've just laid them out on a grilled tray um, with a sip, sort of a biscuit sip, um, if you would call it that, on a tray. I like to cook my fish this way because I find that it gets evenly grilled really properly. Uh, and also, it doesn't release a lot of moisture or water when it's getting done in the oven. Often what happens is when you place your dish in a glass dish or in a tray in an in a oven, um, it tends to release a lot of water and then in turn of wanting to dry out that moisture you tend to overcook your fish and that's what becomes a problem and makes your fish um, uh, tough or okay, overcooked. So for the fish itself I've got about six pieces of fish there's two each i've got three packets here so i've just laid i left the one to show you guys the other two i've laid them out and then we are going to go through the ingredient list i've got some coriander stalks and leaves here so i'm going to use both of these this is for the marinade bit and then we'll move on to the sauce bit i've got the kriya fish spice i've got a little bit of the uh, chilies these are not so strong they don't have a lot of kick in it so we're going to take these seed them completely and then use it that way I've I've got some fresh garlic, salt, and I've also got some coconut oil that I am going to use to prepare the marinade. Then in terms of the actual sauce that we're going to pour over uh, our fish once the fish is grilled, I've, I'm going to be using coconut cream as my base. I've got some lime leaves here. Um, if you have a lime tree or a lemon tree, you can obviously use the leaves from there. Um, sometimes I find woolies keep these lemon leaves alternatively. Um, uh, from where, where I stay, Oakland's fruit shop also keeps it as well as some of the uh, fruit lovers market also keeps it. Some spring onions, the white bit and the green leaves. I've got some fresh garlic, fresh ginger, a tomato that's de-seeded, chilies and lemon grass. And I'm also going to, if need be, use a little bit more of the fish spice in this part as well. But let us start with prepping and marinating the fish. So what I've done is I've de-seeded my chilies. I just wanted to show you guys here they de-seeded and I'm going to chop them really finely. So I'm going to use, like I said, I've got about six fillets of fish. So in there, two chilies and we'll add in about two tablespoons of the fish spice as well as about a teaspoon of garlic. And at this stage, I'm just going to use the stalks um, from the coriander. I'm not actually using the leaves. So I'm going to chop them finely and then add this also into my marinade mix. So the coconut oil is ready. Um, we've got the spice that's ready. I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of the spice. Two full tablespoon. I'm going to add my chilies, my garlic, my salt, and the um, the stalks from the coriander. All right, guys. So two tablespoon of the kriya fish spice going in. Fresh garlic. That's about a teaspoon. The four chilies, salt, and coriander stalks all going in. We'll give it a good mix nicely. And I will also add a little bit of the lemon as well. So fresh lemon going in. And what we'll then do is we'll mix it all together and marinate our fish. Uh, okay. So that is my marinade ready. I am going to throw in juice of one lemon into this marinade and give it a good mix. And then I will prepare and um, marinate this fish and keep it away. And obviously we will then put this under the griller and move on to our sauce. So remember when you're using Kriya um, fish spice or any spice for that matter, don't forget to add in your salt because these spices are free from salt, um, sugar <coughs> and any preservatives. <coughs> I want you guys to have a look at this marinade. Look at how beautiful and lush this flavor is and the colors are absolutely absolutely amazing so i'm going to rub this fish really really nicely um i have oiled my trays so that my fish doesn't uh, stick to the tray 
I'll rub my marinade on really nicely onto my fish, keep it aside, and then move on to the next step. So have a look here, I've marinated this. Basically all I've done is with the back of my spoon, I have um, just made sure that I've spread my marinade out quite nicely on my fish. And at this stage, what I'm going to do is I am going to keep this aside. I'm going to cover this and keep this aside because I will be using it this evening. So I will pre prep everything, cover it very nicely and put it away in the fridge. And just before I need to serve, this will go under the grill and the sauce will be ready and we will pour this over the sauce. I mean, over the fish. Moving on to the sauce for the fish. I've got some coconut oil that's here. I've got um, kappa lime leaves. I have got, these are the garnish bits. So there's some coriander here, spring onion, some red and green chili that I've de-seeded. So half of uh, that will go onto my garnish. The other half is de-seeded and finely chopped. I've got, I've got uh, fish spines that's here. Um, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, lemon juice, lemongrass, tomatoes, finely chopped and de-seeded. And I'll show you guys, I'm gonna prep most of it and the, re the tomatoes um, will go in just before we are done with the sauce. So let's get started with the sauce. So I'm gonna start off with about a good few tablespoon of coconut oil. And once the oil is heated through, I will add fresh ginger and fresh garlic. And it's not a very tedious, long sauce recipe. It's fairly quick. Um, so we'll just braise the, um, the uh, ginger and garlic for a few secs. And then I will add the white bits from my spring onion into this here and let the flavors come through. And then goes in the lemongrass and what you want to do with the lemongrass is you just want to make sure that you kind of like just crush it a little bit or just pound it a bit just so that we've got the flavors coming through um, so that you know we've got maximum flavors that are coming through from the lemongrass and then we'll go in the coconut cream and the lime leaf right so ginger garlic in spring onions in lemon grass in and let's just give this a stir through quickly and once we've given this a good 10 15 seconds then goes in the lime leaves and the red and the green chilies as well and once that's been given a few secs we will then add the um the coconut cream so the flavors that are coming through are so 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 nice it's going to be and also what's really nice is i'm actually making this and i'm only obviously going to be doing this for supper so the flavors are really going to infuse quite nicely and sit together for the longer they sit together they'll actually just come together so nicely so what i'll also do is i will also add just a bit of chicken stock um just to sort of give it that flavor and um so that it's not so heavy with the coconut cream as well so this is braised through quite nicely and what i will then do now is add through my coconut cream and a little bit of uh, chicken stock that will come through together heat it and then the sauce will be ready for us and also we'll also add a little bit of the fish spice and some salt um so that we've got the flavors same flavors coming through here so what i've done is i've added about quarter of a cup of chicken stock the Korea chicken stock and i am also adding in a little bit of the fish spice and i've added salt taste it for seasoning and then this sauce is pretty much ready till your fish comes out of the grill or from the oven 
and uh, we will then pour obviously the sauce over the fish um you want to have and then obviously the tomatoes go in um towards the very end because i still want them to have their color i still want them to have the uh, the I, I i want the beautiful bright tomatoes still popping through so i'm going to leave the tomatoes to go in just the very last um also a little bit of lemon juice going in just before we finish the sauce off and it goes on top of the fish hey guys, so we're ready to put this in the oven so i'm gonna put this my grill is on and it's on medium grill on my induction stove and i'm gonna pop this under the grill for about 10 to 12 minutes um it also depends on what sort of oven you have so induction obviously goes a lot faster so we're going to pop this in the oven and put it on for about 10 to 12 minutes and put the sauce on to heat okay guys so i've switched on the sauce to get heated through as well um, and if you can have a look here the texture on the sauce is neither too thick nor too thin um, this is what the texture looks like. I've still got my lime leaves and lemongrass. And what I'm going to do is, as I'm serving out, um, then I will just try and avoid this. So what I've done is obviously just added a little bit of chicken stock just to give it a nice uh, texture. Um, neither too thick. And I am going to be serving this with rice. I've cooked plain white rice. And what I've just done it is simply in my rice cooker, I have added a little bit of lemon peel um, and some uh, lime leaves and bay leaves. That's what I cook the rice with. Let As soon as this uh, sauce is heated through, we're going to add these tomatoes. And I am going to just thinly slice these chilies for garnish. We are going to pop this tomatoes in as well now. Right. Let's cut through the spring onions. So we'll just cut it lengthwise. I will quick leave it nice and long. So now that I'm happy with the consistency of the sauce, what I'll do is I'll just try and take out as much as I can from these lime leaves and these big chunks of lemongrass because they basically serve their purpose and I don't want them coming in my mouth as I'm eating. So we'll just avoid that. Okay guys, so we are done about 12 minutes on my stove and this is what the fish looks like. Okay, so we're going to pop this on here onto my stove and I'm going to now just pop my other ones in. I'm done with the sauce, I've removed the, the bits of lemongrass and lime leaf. I'm going to pop my tomatoes in here and I've switched off my stove so I don't really want to cook my tomatoes or anything so I, like I said I still want my tomatoes to retain its color so we're going to leave this for a bit here and move on and um, transfer the fish into the dish so just carefully we're going to lift this and gently just and if you have to cook the fish the way that I have mentioned here on a grill rack on under the grill uh, instead of in a deep dish like this um, you don't end up releasing a lot of moisture which in turn obviously doesn't overcook your fish and you still left with the beautiful moist fish as opposed to uh, overcooking your fish okay so now that we've dished out the fish we are going to spoon this beautiful sauce over the fish so 
So that's the fish done. We're going to sprinkle it with the spring onions and some chilies. And I've got some cucumber, I mean coriander that's ready here, which I'm just going to chop and garnish over my rice that I've cooked. Just little bay leaves and um, lime leaf and uh, lemon peel. And here's the Asian inspired Thai fish. So that is your Asian inspired fish with steamed rice. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to click like, subscribe, hit that notification so that you don't miss a video.